on uh, the Science Channel or something like that. So I'm going to go try to find that because I it love Man vs. Wild. It used to be more... You, you used to bump into Surviving Man a lot more. Like I would uh, would turn and always see Surviving Man on the, on the you know the, <clears throat> the TV guy part of the, the cable and, and and it was I watched it a couple of times. He was in uh, the Canadian Wilderness and I, evidently it's fucked up in the Canadian Wilderness. I mean he he go out there and he's he's um figuring out how to you know he's lighting fires of course and and doing all the caveman shit. He got to figure out what. Uh, things to eat for protein. He has to figure yeah. out what things. He's catching snails. Yeah, the show's great. Uh, Man vs. Wild. They just they he, they just drop him in the wilderness somewhere, somewhere crazy. Like it, there's been a desert. There's been a volcano uh, uh, area. There's been uh, the, you know uh, the Alps, the mountains, all that shit. I don't want to trash and the then, guy though. And then he has to find a way out to civilization. Survivor like, Man is the same like, thing. He's got like five days or so. Survivor Man is the same thing. But I mean, Man vs. Wild. I'm not going to fucking talk sh that much shit about him because even if this was a movie, what he does you requires a stuntman. You know, <laughs> it, it requires a professional to d even do it if it was fake. But I was uh, talking to Patrice about Man vs. Wild. He goes, that's nothing because they sent a camera crew with Man vs. Wild, dude. And that's the problem I had with the show because all yeah. of a sudden they're talking about this uh, this rock face or whatever that he has to get down to survive. And you're like, oh, my God, how is he going to do that? And then it's time for uh, Man vs. Wild, dude, to do it. And there's the camera crew because they got an angle from below as he's doing it. And you're like, ah, oh, fuck, man, you're taking me out of this because I know I know, I know the camera people got yeah, down. They made it. It's, it's, they a, made it. It's, it's not like one of those. And they don't even have the skills of the, the of the other dude. It's not like a Spike Lee camera where they tie you, tie the camera to your chest as you're walking and right. it seems like you're floating or something. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like they're like see, he crawls up in a tree to overlook the jungle and there's a camera at the same level height in the tree with him well, he does on have, another fucking tree not, yeah well he does have a handheld at times that he's you know holding out in front yeah, of him not, not, not the one I saw when not he was in another in, tree yeah not in another tree where it's like and, and it's it's one. It's cinematography. It's done well. Yeah. Well, Man vs. Wild. They took Survivor Man and made it made a better quote for TV because Survivor Man. What you told me, I haven't seen it yet. It was just the dude with his own camera. And and you know he, he would do things like, okay, it's raining, and then the camera would go, Shh, and you're like, oh shit, this nigga's getting ready to die. Uh -huh. And then it'll come on tomorrow where like, I, I'm sorry, uh, battery and. But something happened, and and who knows? They could have flew in and gave him a new camera. Exactly. But, but the cocksucker is giving off the thing like he's by himself, and the whole thing is if he doesn't meet them where they're supposed to meet at the end of the week, then they come looking for him. He's supposed to get to the highway at the end of the week. But there's other people with him. Not uh, Survivor Man doesn't give the impression that other people would have. Uh, Man vs. Wild. Yeah. There, there's uh, you can see at some point somebody said and cut. It's a it's very movie like. Yeah. You know it's very he's yeah. very movie like. And what sucks with Man vs. Wild he gets he finds civilization every time and and it's supposed to be in a five day period. And it, it has a happy, a happy ending every time. Someone on the instant feedback is telling me that there was one time they had a, you know, they had a, uh, um, a rescue uh, survivor man. D D See, that he's would in be deep shit. See, that would be cool because I'm a big fan of Man vs. Wild. One damn time, he's like, ah, fuck, I can't figure this out. Put him in enough shit where he needs help. And, and then they show what happens if he can't figure shit out because you know there's been a few scenarios where he couldn't figure out shit. What does he do? Does he have like a satellite phone or whatever? Exactly, a very special cell phone episode. Of man versus wow. Like, like I thought this river was gonna lead to something, but instead it leads to a 500 foot fucking waterfall. I'm screwed. Guess what, guys? I got it. I got us. Send oh, me a like chopper. <laughs> Where you at? Uh shit. Uh, Jungle Street and <laughs> yeah. Fire I, yeah, and I, Boulevard, nigga. Yeah. I don't know. Get, come get me out of this bitch. Get to the chopper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm Survivor Man. Survivor Man is is uh, look. Man versus Wild is is more uh, aesthetic. It's better. It's more aesthetically pleasing to watch. It's the still, dude is better looking. Like it's this, it's this young uh, British uh, Secret Service motherfucker, special ops guy, special ops guy. Special ops. Where, yeah. where fucking uh, Survivor Man looks like Danny. You know, he's kind of to him and yeah, stuff. Just short dude, and he's like more official, regular dude. You know, kinda. No, you know, he's drinking the pints when he's not uh, filming Survivor Man, right? <laughs> he's a mess. Like you know, yeah. he's just he's just a messy little dude, and he has this camera, and you feel like shit. Damn shit. <laughs> 
But 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 but, but man versus why you don't feel like God, I'm still impressed. I, I like watching that show because it's different. It's you know? impressive for what. And it then is. the shit he figures out. Like he was in. Uh, I forgot what location he was in, and he was screwed. He needed food, and he's trying to catch fish, and he's like, ah, oh, fuck, you know, it's not working. I saw so, that one. And then he discovers or sees a, a plant that you and I would be like, yeah, it's a fucking plant. Yep. And he goes, oh, my God, this is the plant the Indians used to use to catch fish. And you're like, what? So then he takes the leaves of the plant, and he mashes them down with a stupid rock, throws it in a pool of water, and the fish instantly die. It's like, how the fuck God. do you know that he, shit? He, he, the it's one, a poison oh, to the fish. The one I saw, he was in, like, uh, shit, Costa Rica, some jungle. He caught, he ate, he drank the water from a river, and he ate some crayfish. And and then he got really sick. He's like, oh, oh, shit. So he woke up in the morning, he goes, oh. He climbs up two mountains to go to this tree where you go when you got an upset stomach. The oh, shit yeah. Tree. It was a milk tree. It was a he cut it and he licked the, the tree and he's like, oh, I gotta fucking lick the milk tree. And it, and it, he was and it sucking, his stomach. He was sucking on the milk tree and it turns out that's the same tree they use for whatever, like Pepto or something. <laughs> really? Yeah, but he knows all this he's, shit. Oh, he cut the bark. He's like, oh, oh better. His cramps went away. He, now, he, he, you know, there's big piles of shit around that tree, too. <laughs> <laughs> but people just had to oh, lick the tree and take a big shit. We had a dummy on the line. He hung up. He goes, man versus wild. The camera crew's not. I can't help him. Can't help him. You're trying to so tell they'll me. just watch him die. They'll watch him die for shit. Shut up, right? you you go. We understand he can't give him a fucking that, tic tac. That's the scenario of the show. But you, but if he gets into real danger, they're gonna just film and go. Well, we got some great tape when they get back to the states. No, they're if he, jumping if he in. Does, if he does a first blood fall when uh, oh, and he stabbed himself in the yeah, and, and he's and he's bleeding to death. He'll have he, to stitch he himself up. He can't say, hey fellas, you know what? Uh, cancel this film and yeah, call the helicopter. Yeah. No, the they're helping him, and they're, and they're not going to air that episode, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger's gnawing out his leg, and they're going to be sitting there going, this is great footage. I no. mean, I couldn't even film the movie version of I mean, this guy, I'm not, you can't, for what he does, I mean, he's climbing up mountaintops mm -hmm. with, with vines. He's doing shit. Yeah. But I'm saying it's not as dangerous. He's not really by himself. And he's, you know, he's not doing the whole by himself thing. Survivor Man is yeah. alone in the fucking wilderness, man. Well, Patrice, I would love to have paid attention to what you said, but I couldn't get past Opie. What I do? Doing the camera and actually cranking. <laughs> you, you were doing a little pantomime of the camera crew Did taping really? the guy, and you <laughs> used your really? right hand <laughs> and, and you used your left hand to steady a camera, and your right hand was cranking a crank. W W W W Griffin, what is that? What's that fucking thing? Yeah. <laughs> and now a newsreel from 1930. <laughs> How about some 40s music? Though? Oh my God! Cecil B. DeMille with his Cecil B. DeMille with his cameraman Greg Opie Hughes cranking the camera away. Are you? The new production of Nosferatu will be coming out. Are you fucking with me? Or I am I not really, fucking I with really it. I looked that? and just was like, he's cranking a camera. In this day, and it's 2007, Opie still has a crank camera. Oh, I can't, God, you can't yeah. disrespect the guy because what he fucking does. I mean, when you film a movie, you, you motherfucker's got to go cut, and then there's a guy that comes in and takes your place to do shit. Right. He's doing shit. He's climbing up trees with vines. He's starting fires. He, he's doing yeah, he's really doing I mean, this he's shit. he's doing shit, yeah. but he's just not by himself, which is, you know. Hey, by the way, anyone of us would be dead Hold on, in so, this day. Greg from Jersey, they say he's climbing with vines, but you can see the ropes and Horace on TiVo. Really? I don't know if that's true. I'm going to look closely for that shit, though. Hey, uh, Patrick that's in bullshit. Chicago is saying Survivor Man's a pussy. Patrick? Man, Survivor Man is such a pussy. He's got, like, all these little cameras, like, he's trying to position them like he's trying to make his own little porno for YouTube. And uh, Man vs. Wild, man, he's, like, drinking the liquid out of elephant poop, man. This guy, yeah, I he's, saw like, that he's one. hardcore. Yeah, he he's squeezes hardcore. the elephant poop to get some uh, some uh, refreshment. Some liquid yeah, out of it. drink the freaking liquid out of elephant poop. The guy's crazy. And then I, I went like this to show that he was squeezing. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you, thank you. I mean, that was I mean, accurate. He, you know, he's got <laughs> Survivor man, he's like looking in his cameras, like ooh, is my button yes. shot? Ooh, does this look good? Does that look good? Screw that guy! And then he's always got some fake injury. Ooh, I broke my arm. Ooh, how am I gonna get by with a broken arm? What does he have? What is he allowed to have besides the camera? 
as far as... Uh, he's always got some cop. He's always got, like, oh, this is my broke-down snowmobile, so he's got, like, gasoline. And so he's stuff. got, like, that... How does he start a fire? Well, but, the, but this guy's not being fair, though. Hold on, hold on. They give he's got, like, a leftover battery. The man vs. Wild, the dude's got a knife. That's all he got the, is a knife. The man vs. Wild dude's got a knife, and they give him a flint. Sometimes. Sometimes they get And other play. times you do watch when him just start a fight. Hold on, hold on. Together. He's misrepresented too. Yeah, yeah. Because the guy, here's the what Survivor Man does. He, 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 he reenacts as if this is how you would really get stuck in this situation. So when this dude is telling you he has a snowmobile, he's, he's riding his fucking snowmobile somewhere and he reenacts wow i broke down how someone is gonna end this fucking man versus wild guy he puts on a cape and he flies out of a plane into the fucking jungle like that's his purpose the survivor man kind of just ends up stuck well, somewhere well, wait, 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 like a fucking person hold, like on, real hold person. on let me add to that too yeah survivor man so it, it's something that could possibly happen you're on your snowmobile way in the wilderness you run out of gas or whatever you're like holy shit i'm fucked and then he's basically showing you well you know what maybe you could use some parts of the uh of the snowmobile like the fucking chinese guy that went the, the, when the family got stuck that's what Survivor Man does. That Chinese uh, okay. guy, where it's like, oh my God, we took a wrong we're, turn we in the off Oregon and took his off and, and I fucked up. I really fucked up. He, he, you know, the whole family didn't jump out of a plane into fucking the goddamn mountains. Mm -hmm. And Man vs. Wild, like, he has a flint if he's in a snowy, you know, ter in snowy terrain, because you're not going to find dry shit to start a fire. Yeah. But then if he's, like, on a, de a desert island or whatever, then he doesn't get the flint, because it's easier to start a fire. Sticks. Sticks and shit. So. He doesn't get the stuff that maybe that Asian guy needed to save yeah. his fucking family because it was it was snowy Oregon fucking wilderness. Why did he leave the Where car? Where was his flint? Why did he leave the car? Did you see uh, Man vs. Wild Dude in uh, Among the Icebergs in a rowboat? No. So he, he's in, uh, I don't know, Alaska, yeah. right? Hey, Icebergs, Alaska, yeah, and North Atlantic. This is only a this is only a twelve percent trashing, only because I respect this fucking man versus wild guy. It's still a good but show. He's, We're just he, picking it a, apart. Right, and, it, we, I'm being uh, an asshole, logistically a logistic asshole, but that guy is amazing. But it's like some shit you just go, come on, man. Well, he's filming. Yeah. Well, my example, he's he's filming stuff to make good TV, obviously. So he's oh, uh, yeah. he's in Alaska. He gets down to the uh, the water, and there is all the icebergs and you know floating ice shit all over the place. And he realizes he has to cross this thing or whatever. He happens to find a rowboat at an old like hunting area that's now closed down, but there's a rowboat there. I'm sure that was there. So then he starts paddling, makes a homemade paddle, and he starts paddling through the iceberg, saying how dangerous it is and one of these icebergs could you know spring a leak in this and if it happens i only have about two minutes in the water before i'm gonna die right yeah. so it's like holy shit that's pretty fucked up <laughs> he gets about 200 yards from shore from uh, where he'll be safe and conveniently the rowboat is now filling up with water and I turned to Lindsay. I go, D they, they punctured a hole Come in the boat yeah, and yeah, the TV, yeah. obviously. He built his own rat. Let me tell you something. One episode, he had I, he had a soccer ball named Wilson that he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but he, but he, he punctures the hole to make for dramatic TV, knowing he's going to get out. He has plenty of time. Of course time. he is. You know? Because he's not going to take that chance with a leaky rowboat when he f starts out on his journey, knowing that he would be fucked in the middle of this thing. So he does things like that, obviously, to make it a little more dramatic. Yeah, see, that's bullshit. But still, still a great show. I don't like that setup shit. Someone saw the show where they had a survi uh, survivor, where they had a uh, rescue survivor man, Mark in Boston. Hey, uh, morning, gentlemen. Hey, hey. Um, that episode of Survivor Man. Yeah. Where they had to rescue him. Um, he was simulating a boat going down, and so it was just him and a little raft out in the middle of the ocean. And they had, like, a crew on standby in another boat a couple miles away or something. And this huge storm rolled in out of nowhere. And so they had to get him off the raft or else he would have gone down. But at least he admitted that, you know what, I didn't, I didn't make it this time. See, I would like to see yeah. that with Man vs. Wild. Well, they put him back on the raft, actually. Like, the storm passed and they put him back on the raft. Yeah. So he tried his hardest, but... <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. Let's go to Jay in Jersey. Jay? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Uh, yo, Patrice, I saw you stand out, man. Fucking hilarious. Anyway, dude, that guy's a dick. Let me tell you why. He, um, one time he went over there and he's like, he's trying to find, like, some bait to go fishing or whatever. And he's like, uh, 
oh, look, I found a dead animal in this avalanche, right? And he, uh, he, finds, he finds these fucking leeches. And he's like, oh, look, you can eat them. They're a good source of protein. They were fucking mealworms that somebody planted in that thing. And it was, uh, it was dog shit, dude. It's totally fake. And then you could tell there were mealworms. He's saying they're leeches. And then another time he's like, oh, look, we could cross this uh, path by this old bridge. It's brand new friggin' rope. that they What worms? Crawl. What's Me- that? Mealworms, mealworms. yeah. Yeah, I know, you know, I know it's the white, yeah. maggoty, yellow things that look like... Uh, yeah, we've had them for the 55 gallon drum challenge. Uh, so wait, this is Man vs. Wild you don't like, yeah. or Survivor Man? Which guy Which guy's the skinny guy with the brown hair? Uh, that's uh, Man vs. Wild, special ops, yeah, British dude. Dude, that guy, it's, it's fake, dude. He's Please. making good TV. Yeah, he's making TV. good TV, but I mean, go out there and do it, you know, on your own, <laughs> having guys prop shit over there and saying, oh yeah, I just found this goddamn leech off of this dead animal. As he's sucking down mealworms from the pet store.